You are about to see mutilated corpses, burning tank carcasses, and all of mayhem brought to you by Frontline Fatalities. Sup, CUH fans, and welcome to episode 87 of Frontline Fatality Season 2, brought to you by the Frontline Network, presented by me, Fatal Saint, and my good friend Tommy. What's up, Tommy? What's up, Fatal? We are back on the fields of Angoville, where we were actually last time, but this time we're going to be showing you guys the Panzer Elite faction that we haven't seen on Frontline Fatalities in quite a while. They're going to be played by Mr. Hello Banana Phone, and he is going to be taking on the well known and uh, well, well seen on this channel, uh, definitely. Mr. Sandland is going to be playing as the US. WMD representing Sandland on the fields of Ango against a PE player. Hello, Banana Phone. Very interesting. I'm expecting to see quite a battle. You ready to go, Toby? I am ready. Let's unpause in three, two, one, unpause. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. So let's see. Uh, obviously, you don't really play Panzer Elite that much, but uh, you know, if that you start you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Exclusively, never. Okay, that's better, I guess. <laughs> North, US, Ango versus P. Go. What do you do? US, well, you do what Aimstrong does, which is what everybody does these days. Um, and that is. You get yourself your three engineers, and you go out and you uh, you evade, you evade, you harass, you camp, you do as much evading as possible. You get your first flamer, you make a big ass blob, and you charge at the PE blob, and you win because you have flamers. It works in a similar way to how Pious Man worked actually, and it's really quite ugly, but it does work. And frankly, there's no way to beat the PE, uh, beat a good PE that is elegant. You know, US versus Vert is pretty elegant battle, but it's it's never gonna be like that if you want if you want to play competitively against PE. It's just not gonna be that nice. Just never, never gonna work. We got double P grand opening for Banana Phone, and obviously we have the first engineer putting up the racks with the first rifle on the field. Second one cooking as well, and it looks to me that Sandland will be focusing on the right hand side of this map. Yeah, you can definitely call this a focus. He's gone for a one engineer opening. Uh, following yeah. up, so I guess he's going for the five rifles. The which five is... rifles? We've seen mm. him do this before. We have, but against Vare. I think saw him do... Yeah, against Vare as well. So, well, I don't know, against It PE. works quite well against Vare if Vare focus on the right-hand side, because you can you can win, and then you can force Vare back behind this big old hedgerow. But I don't know if this is going to work against PE, honestly. I would be I would be a little bit dubious. Um, if Sandman I forgot who he was playing against, what faction that <laughs> Banana Phone actually shows, because this is a, the third game in a series they played against each other of custom games, I believe. Yes, I believe you're right. So we see so, those P-Grands going very aggressively all the way up to that house near the right-hand side US cutoff, but Sandman doing the correct thing, moving away, and he's just going to go up and try and cap again. And actually we see there has been another uh, Schulmeier built by the PE player, so he is, uh, he's got quite a bit of capping going on. Yes, we got Schwingwagens instead of Kettenkrass. What do you think about that? Uh, they get some various abilities depending on which one you choose, depending on what doctrine you Honestly, go for. Honestly, if uh, I see a Schwim, I'm so glad because it means no fucking cloaked Kettens. <laughs> <laughs> no cloaked bullcrap running around all over the map. So we have a so Jeep. Jeep out now. Very What's nice. Happening? I, do, I do like to see a bit of Jeep action. Against P, Jeep against the shrimps and kettens, yeah? Yeah, well, it chases, chases down the kettens and uh, it's great for pushing. So, obviously, without any MG42s, you don't really have to worry about anything coming along and insta killing your, your Jeep. Because, obviously, one good blast from an MG42 and, uh, and it's, it's good by Jeep, really. But, but not uh -huh. so when you're playing PE. 
Yeah, I didn't nice like blocking. this blocking, yeah, I yeah, didn't nice. like that blocking, and that's the first kill for Sandland, just three and a half minutes into the game, he manages to polish off the second Schwimmwagen, not the starter one, but the one that was actually built, and Banana Phone found that quite hilarious, I guess, that block of that jeep. Yeah, I think it was, uh, <laughs> it was, it was a little, little infuriating to be blocked like that, but, um, well, if you play P... <laughs> yeah, that's what uh, happens. This is just, it's just, it kind of comes with the territory, really. Um, hey, just just imagine how, how bad it used to be with Kettens before the patch when Jeeps could uh, could push Kettens. That was... Yeah, they moved out of the way. Because yeah. Of the, you know, that, was yeah that, that, that wasn't fun or, or, or amusing. So we got this Jeep here. Uh, we've got two P-Grens and an another two P-Grens. Uh, yeah. They're going to sort of sandwich these rifles we're gonna need some pretty fancy jeep play if Santa wants to get out of here without a huge loss of manpower. Uh, he's already losing quite a lot of men on his rifleman squads. They're fairly low health as well. He's going in for the push with the jeep against the two pigran squads out in the fields. The two other ones from the building vacate and start chasing down the rifles as well. Down to one man on retreat. But it should be fine, but he is forced to retreat due to overwhelming PE numbers. They're just everywhere right now. But we got WSC up in the US base now from Sandland. So he went with two rifles. And he actually added on the second engineer now later instead. And got that jeep, obviously, and he's gonna be building a sniper from his WC now. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. So, quite unorthodox, but the early sniper is definitely viable. Obviously, P. P. Grens, only three man squads. Uh, and he's seen, he knows he's not gonna be hit by a scout car anytime soon because he's seen there are four. P here. There's um, actually five. There are five. I haven't now. seen the fifth now. No, no, no. There are six. There are six. There's six. He Where's just this? built another one. He just oh, wow. finished building himself another one. So it's a very, very heavy P grand opening from Hello Banana Phone. But you know what? I think it's actually working out for him pretty well. He's managed not to lose very much in the way of manpower, uh, besides that Schwimmwagen loss, uh, which is unfortunate, and he couldn't really do, do anything about that. Um, but he has done well. He's secured his fuel on the left. He's going to secure some more fuel on the right. Now it all comes down to how he reacts to this uh, to this Jeep and Sniper combo. Uh, it seems to like he wants to actually go away from this Sniper and try and evade him as much as possible. Every bullet that Sniper hitting his Pigren squads is going to hurt his manpower quite a bit. And there's quite a lot of Pigrens to shoot at with six squads on the field right now. There's some Flamer on the Engineer as well, but he's instantly chased down because there are still four squads. And when they start focus firing something down, they die very quickly. Jeep coming in here on the left hand side. That's gonna that boy it might tip the balance here. We have more P Grants coming in from oh, wow. the rear of that rifle squad. He gets out of there double quick time. This so Jeep yeah, needs this, to go. It does need to go. It's otherwise it's gonna get focused down. Those G forty threes don't fuck around. They're actually pretty damn good against uh, like the post like the Jeep and even you know I think especially with veterancy we talked about this in previous casts a long time ago on M8s without the skirts and stuff. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> Bet three Bet three offensive G forty threes are a viable counter to M8s and I'm not just I'm not just being funny here. They they are literally a counter to M8s. Uh, as now, long as you get a lot of them. Very fast and loose with this sniper, but notice he's not being very intelligent with how he's taking his shots. He's taking one shot off each of these squads, which means they're all at two men, which means they're still all in pretty good shape uh, to stay on the field. Slow. Oh, he might be trying to focus firing down. The Jeep was going to go in and try and block those pigrans chasing his sniper. Triage up in the base for Sandman as well. Uh, I remember old patch G43 slow. Now that. Well, that was something to be <laughs> Wasn't feared. that like 20 seconds or something? Yeah, it was like crazy? 20 seconds of oh. actual slow. And so what slow, you do slow. is you just, you'd slow a unit, any unit, and then get your MP44s to run up to them. Um, if you had sprint, it was just like doubly retarded. And then, <laughs> then you know, you just, you just, everything died. There was nothing you could do. Just everything died. Yeah, even if you retreated when you were... Oh, well, even if you retreated at, at like, like the max anyway. range, it just, it made no difference. It was crazy. So now Sandland, he's beginning to experience the weakness of having so few rifles in that he makes, you know, a little bit of headway in one place and he loses a lot in the other. Over here on the right-hand side, quite a bit of manpower lost there for Sandland and he's going to lose this, uh, this fuel here as well. 
Yeah, he's extending out to the left hand side of the map, grabbing that fuel. He did force off the Schwim wagon and one of the Panzer Grenadier squads out there from Banana Phone. But at the same time, as you say, he loses the right hand side, he gets the left, he loses the left hand side, and he goes back to the right. He's basically just switching over and over again, and I believe that the Panzer Elite player actually holds those resources much, much longer than Stalin has managed to do so far. Yeah, I believe so, and he's going to utilize those resources to get himself an armored car, which is about to pop out now. Here it is. Armored car is on the field, and he is going to be laughing all the way to the bank because he has just seen a 30 cal from Sandland, which an AC can easily circle strafe, and of course, ACs can detect snipers. Um, although I'm not sure if they can detect their two snipers because they have their Ooh, detection radius sure. decrease. Yeah, I know that Pumas can't. They, they literally can't. Even if they park on top of them, nothing happens. Yeah. It just can't so be blocked. I'm, I'm but his armor sure, car is going oh God, he's straight he's right there. The oh, and he does retreat straight away. This could be bad. Overdrive pop there. Obviously, no stickies. stickies. No, no attempt oh. to sticky. He needs to be careful now, though, because those base MGs will kill an AC given enough time. Well, he gets behind that MG. Oh. He's oh. Finish up, not e even Brutal before he crit. gets the retreat. Yeah, he he might even get uh, back home. Jumped his engineer squad. So low health, and he's not close enough to the triage. Down to one man, but the armored car switches targets and starts shooting at the rifleman squad instead. Gets Fairly lucky some for defensive Sam. efficiency as well. That's why that overdrive lasted forever. Yeah, a good 15 seconds. Oh, I think. he turned the 30 cal though. Gets uh, a nice little burst. If that was if that was AP rounds, he would have killed it off. Eight. Maybe, yeah, with AP rounds, at least getting, uh, you know, a damaged engine or something, some critical, which would have allowed him to actually Solo pull it off later. That's, that's unfortunate. But that AC, <clears throat> it's made us money back already. And now, hello, Banana Phone, he is choosing to get himself tier 4, so he's going to play it safe. Probably going to be seeing an AC half-track now, although he's actually going to be playing it even too safe, maybe, because he uh, doesn't look like Sandland is making any attempt to build an M8 at this point. No, no taking apart from the WSC and the triage, which has been in his base for quite a while. A new sniper pops out for Sandland, however, uh, so he's going to be replacing the one that he lost. Which I actually noticed, you know, when shooting at Panzer Engineers, they they give up quite a lot of XP to units, and I think he had eight two, kills. Pretty fast. Two. Yeah. yeah, eight kills. But then again, you know, you see what happens when you don't have enough support, and it's uh, it's it's all over very quickly. And he's gonna find that again if he sends out this sniper with just a single rifle squad and an MG in a building. It's just not enough. Those ACs they can take punishment. Yeah, you really need to slow it down with a sticky, or if you have an AT gun somewhere yeah, in yeah, the backfield before the stickies, it gets. Yeah, you need the stickies really. The stickies yeah. are crucial as a deterrent. Um, that that forces the player to do more than just blindly rush in, which is what he's able to do at the moment. Oh, it's not going to be an AT hard track, you know. It's going to be. He's going to. He's going for the IST. He's not started building it yet, but he's getting the upgrade. Ooh, not a bad idea at all, especially when Sandland doesn't actually have any form of counter to that whatsoever. You know, if you get skirts on it, the stickies are not going to be enough. And at the same time, there's no tick in Sandland's base. He does have enough fuel to put his supply yard up, but apart from that, nothing really. Well, the IST is still a good spent... few minutes away, but... I, I believe that he did get stickies, because he did spend a little bit of fuel. Not too much, but a little bit, so I, I believe he got stickies. Oh. But that's not going to be enough against an IST. The Jeep has met its match, I think, in the form of this armored car. Lucky for like him, he's three his shots. Uh, boom, infantry. boom, boom, yeah. Well, little trick, actually. Um, occasionally, when you're using a vehicle and you're driving it around, target priority will make it shoot at something that you don't want it to shoot at. But you can actually override target priority with a moving vehicle if you use attack move. Um, so if you attack move uh, what it is you want it to target, then carry on moving, it will stay focused on what it is you want it to kill, as opposed to something that might have a higher automatic target priority. Um, We've so got that's rangers! He went to infantry to get rangers now. Ew. now you know, bazookas are pretty good against the IST on the rare armor, or basically anything is pretty good as long as it gets a penetrating hit, which is the problem with the bazookas. Well, they get damage bonuses against people, yeah. don't they? So I think this so. Is, not I to believe be it. With. No, I, I believe so. But at the same time, the IST with skirts with the frontal armor and, you know, the top gunner as well, they can mince the Ranger squad quite easily as well. And it costs a lot of manpower to reinforce. I'm not exactly sure how much it is. Is it 40 per... 40... I believe it's 40. It per man? Yeah, it's 40. 40 per man? Yeah. 40 or 45? 40? Wow. That was a huge mine that Sandland detonated. Yeah, but it actually didn't wangs. take... 
Yeah, he didn't actually take any casualties, I think. What maybe one? It's a five man school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I call an IST. It's not an IST. It's the little French tank. It's the Hotchkiss. Hotchkiss. Um, well, no, I've done better no watch out now. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I really enjoyed using Hotchkisses um, or Hotchkai in, in OMG mod. That's where I love them. But I would never use them in a Vico game. They just don't have the, the versatility, really, I don't think. No, uh, and compared to the IST, he will not be deflecting those bazookas reliably, at least. No. If at all. No. Now, those Ranger bazookas, they will keep the AC at bay, though. Oh, quite easily, indeed. Yeah, I think I can't remember if we actually. I think I saw it on stream sometime. Someone had masked Hotchkisses. Hotchkai. Is that the is that the plural? <laughs> Hotchkai. <coughs> I, I think mass Hotchkisses, especially if you got all those rockets. You know, two Hotchkai. I th I think we'll just call them Hotchkai. It sounds quite nice. It's quite kind of nice word. Um, but but you know, you get eight rockets then going down. Eight proper Stuka rockets. It's, you know, it's it's pretty fearsome, especially if they land on an AT gun or even a tank. That's where they really do the damage. In the, the second Raider squad called in from Sideline right now, so he's going completely off the he rulebook, is. this one. He the is playbook going. is just thrown outside the window, well, and I'm just gonna win. <laughs> well, you know what? It's not too far away from. It's not too far away from the original 4ES. The original 4ES was very similar to this. It relied on early sniper, followed up by double rangers. Yeah, that's true, actually. Um, so it's it's not we'll a million miles oh, away. That was a friendly mine. I thought the jeep was gonna hit an enemy mine. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that would have been an amazing place for a mine for the PE player. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> if he would have gone up there and planted it after taking the cutoff or something, but obviously all of those mines are satellites. We have another Hodgkiss on the field, and there's the walking stickers. And they're going to be followed up with another load of walking stukas, so it is going to be massed, uh, massed rockets from the PE player. No healing at the HQ for the PE player yet, I guess. Considering uh, he's walking out of the base with yeah, damage. No, no healing. No healing. No yet. healing. Interesting. Well, these two little French tanks that could are forcing off all of the infantry on the right hand side there. Not terrible against infantry. It's kind of like a panther or something. But they're not you know, great either. It, <laughs> no, they'll get a snipe here or there, but you shouldn't rely on them. No, they do become a little bit better if you get the up gun because then they they fire just a little bit faster. But um, oh, all the same, they're not uh, they're not infantry killing machines. I believe that the sniper and the rangers and the cutoff are getting bombarded by one of the Hotchkisses. Force a retreat on one of that raider squad. I believe that the Stuka rocket landed very close to that sniper as well, shaving off 40% of his health or so. At the same time, you know, Sandland is just not winning any of these infantry engagements. He's just bleeding manpower every engagement. No, he hasn't won a single uh, infantry engagement, I believe, yet. I mean, he's got virtually no kills on any of his units, barring the sniper. Yeah, this is the second sniper, so we had eight, ten kills on the on the first one before he died, I think, and now he's got seven again. Oh, main gunner on that uh, 30 cow is just like, yep. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye, cruel world. Why aren't they? Is that guy bugged on your screen as well? He's, uh, the he's 30 standing. cow gunner. He's just standing. He's just standing. There. He's and the guy is just. No, the guy just took the gun and ran away, and he's just like, <laughs> he left his buddy. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm not gonna yeah, go anywhere. Yeah, buddy, if you just if you just stay there, that that'd be great. Is he gonna teleport oh, now or something? There go. Oh, there we go. He's, <laughs> oh, and now he's they decide to shoot him. <laughs> Should have used attack round or something. Um, so here we go. Here comes another ranger squad. Now the rangers actually, I would probably not use them to counter the AC, and instead just use it to to fight the uh, fight the Hotchkiss. I think I'll have a lot better luck. Yeah, oh, look at all those mines. So oh, look, yeah. that's 75 editions worth of mines. There's one. There's, There's two. two. He sees the third one too. It's planted in the bushes, however. So I'm not exactly yeah, sure. Does he he see might it even properly. see it on the on the screen itself. So, but I believe that it is lit up. Yeah, it is. Same time on the left hand side, massive amounts of infantry moving out with the support of an AC, and there's basically just a poor engineer squad. And our ranger squad and the jeep that was also forced off now. Uh, this engineer squad might be very, very dead very, very soon. 
He's gonna go for the retreat, but he has to retreat past the AC and another Panzer Grenadier as well with G43s. No, oh, he's gonna be all right. He's not gonna pursue it. He could have yeah. easily finished him off. It'd be nice to see some Thompsons from these Rangers. I think that could that could tip the tide if he can close the distance to those G43s. That's what it really comes down to with PE. You got to close the distance. If you can find a, a little hedge or a building to run around so that you can get close to them without taking fire on the way in, then you can win. But when they're massed like that and there's just G43s at range, you, you're never gonna win. You're never gonna win. Well, if he gets his massive amounts of infantry and pushes into the wall of the other. Well, it, it, flamers. <laughs> flamers is what he needs. If he flamers. wants to go down that approach, he needs Flamers. Obviously, at this stage of the game, you know, he's going to start giving away veterancy sooner rather than later, so he's got to bear that in mind, too. Yeah, you, you gotta you gotta take that into consideration as well when you're playing against PE. It's not Wehrmacht. They don't get any veterancy from getting kills. They just buy veterancy for Wehrmacht, but PE, they still get veterancy, and if you start giving away veteranency, especially to, you know, tank busters or, uh, or G43 P runs, Ugh. This Hodgkiss, oh, it's getting stuck on a hedge, and it goes down, explodes nice. in a fireball. The Small other Hodgkiss for Sandland. did manage to escape, oh, and he also killed the, the Schwimmwagen, so it's it's not a bad, not a bad little win. Where was the Schwim? Oh, at the fuel. Yeah, at the fuel, he got uh, just small arms fire. Oh, 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 I was really hoping for some nice rockets there. Oh, that wasn't a bad one. But, uh, on the left hand side. Oh, nice. we had a rush on the sniper. Oh yeah, he's going in for it, but with Vet 2, I guess even if he can detect him while cloaked, it's not going to be as easy as it usually is. Hey, oh, yeah, nice! Not, not Ranger the super there. hit. Yeah, this time he has support, and uh, you know, there are a few mines as well, if he wants to go in for the shards. Not on the left hand side of the map, but in the center on the right hand side as well. Some of them were destroyed, as we saw previously. But uh, Sana is doing okay. He's kind of stabilizing, I think. Uh, but it's still basically, you know, he, he takes one part of the map, the right hand side, for example, and he gives away parts of the left, and then he goes back and just keeps switching hands over and over again. Yeah, it feels like he's he got his have TD enough up. Right now. Yeah, TD is up, and he has been floating quite a lot of fuel as he never went for tier 3. So he's uh, amassing his little M10 army now. M10 army now that could be very interesting because they will they will destroy Hotchkiss. In fact, it's probably about the best thing uh, to go up against Hotchkiss because your know, M10s get penetrated by almost anything anyway. So yeah. it's not going to be any particular surprise when your uh, when your M10s get penetrated by those little French French minimis. Um, but yet they they'll do so much damage. Yeah, and there's no tank busters on the field, no Shreks anywhere as I can see as well, so uh, the M10 is not a bad choice at all. Uh, these engineers, they've got flamers. I think maybe it was a retreat bug, I don't know, but they didn't retreat in time. Uh, he got he got uh, G43 slowed and insta-pinned, and I see a mortar hat track out now from the PE player as well, yes, so M10 is out. M10 is going to be really good, uh, especially <laughs> as, field as, day. Yeah, there's one Hutchkiss, and he built a birch tiger he's going to be reviving the second one that died but apart from that against two m10s they're still gonna win with no shreks there's no at whatsoever from the pe player apart from this uh, you know light at at best from the hotchkiss now i wonder i mean if he went in with those two m10s right now he could score a big win but is he I going so. to wait too long is he going to be too patient often we see the people get too greedy but yeah the problem is he doesn't really have enough pop cap that's the, that's the really big problem for Sandland right now, as he doesn't really have that much of the map, uh, as he's been losing the territories over and over again. He can't really do much about it right now. I think he should just go in. No, he's going to go producing the third one after losing a few infantrymen here and there during these engagements. You know, some, some rangers on the right-hand side lost their lives and some rifles as well. So he's going to be able to muster one more M10, and then I'm betting he's going to be moving out because he's not going to get any any more without any popcat left. Oh, nice hits on that torch kit. Damage engine as well. Oh dear, these rangers could score a big win now. <laughs> Unless the yeah, road bonus lets them escape. Ah, it's just going to roll around. Whoa. Here comes two of them. Tents. Brutal hit from that mortar half track. Oh, wow. Is it going to escape? He's going to fire him up. Oh, think, wow, he's, he's got to chase it. them. Think so? Oh, oh no, how unlucky. 
Pain Ow, gun destroyed. Unlucky. But the third M10 is on the field from Sandland, so he's going to be moving out now. And, you know, he's going to go and repair his Birch Tiger first, and then he will start repairing the, M the, the Hotchkiss as well. But if he moves his M10 right now, right into the PE base, he's not going to be able to finish repairing it. And there's just going to be these two Hotchkisses on the field. That's it. Oh, dear. This is not looking good now. The shit is <laughs> out of the fans. <laughs> the AC is just like, I'm out of nope. here. <laughs> nope. I'm not having none of these. I didn't expect no M10s, not especially this train. It's a small train with three cars, but at the same time, it's a bigger train that he can handle right now. He has no proper AT to deal with all these M10s. I don't know what he's gonna do here. He's gonna get crushed, I think. Is that off map artillery? Yeah, he went to uh, Hauser. I think he wants to score He just right nuked his own M10. Ooh, wow. wow. Green gun. Oh, what's happening? Whoa, what are you doing? Get out of there. What are you doing? Well, that one oh, kind of made it work. Oh, oh, oh my <laughs> god. Oh, oh, oh. Look at the green numbers. They're everywhere. There goes the Birch Tiger as well. No more reviving for you. This AC trying to focus fire down the very low health M10 as well. But he's not going to get it. He loses one M10 to his own off map artillery. But apart from that, Birch down. And one of the Hotchkiss is down as well. The Mortar Hat Track, I think, was toasted. Or is he on the left? No, that's the one of the Hodgkins on the left. That was brutal. Uh, we saw a lot of P-Grants went down. How many scores he got left? Two? Two normal P-Grants? Two, two, two P-Grants from, from before the purge. He had six, didn't um, he? I believe he did. That was um, four scores in one hit, I think. He's now filling his ranks with, with tank busters. He just built two tank busters at a rather high manpower cost. But his tier three building did survive and does he have any carcasses left beyond that in the Berg Tiger? Because it's hardly worth building a Berg Tiger to revive a Berg Tiger now, is it? Have a Berg Tiger repairing a Berg Tiger? Berg Tiger reviving a Berg Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> have a Berg Tiger reviving a Berg Tiger, which is repairing a Berg Tiger. What? How does that work? No, 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 no. A Berg Tiger oh. repairing a Berg Tiger, which is reviving a Berg Tiger. <laughs> now, that could work. Now, that could work. It sounds to me to be money well spent. <laughs> that, is, that is how you win games. It's a bit like when you see three kittens repairing each other. All you can think of... Oh, no! Oh, wow, that was a nice crit from that whole MG. Oh, and goodbye. Oh, it go right into the hedge. Another one bites the dust. I'm gonna get sued. <laughs> yeah, just don't, just, don't, just don't say, let's get ready to rumble. Oh, right, uh, you can't do that. No, you no. Get sued. Oh, one man right from the squad from the right hand side is getting focus fired by the ta these tank busters. But with only two car rifles, it's not enough to polish him off. And Sandland retains another squad. It's not like he has any veterancy though. He's actually got veterancy on one of his Rangers, man. You see this? Vet one Ooh, Rangers, what's well, happening? It's does Twilight Zone or something? Well, he's got two light vehicle kills. Yeah. Mm. So it's I guess gotta be the Hotchkiss. Yeah, it's gotta be the Hotchkiss. I mean, if he can keep on killing those Hotchkiss, then they will, you know, they'll, they'll get some vet sooner rather than later. Yeah, he's getting Thompsons as well. Uh, both of the squads are actually getting Thompsons now. Uh, the vet one is still upgrading, but the, the unvetted squad is uh, already has his Thompsons right now. And by killing all of those Pgrams with the G43s before and seeing oh, no. the, you know, oh, no. the mine, the mine, <laughs> the mine, the mine. Oh, is he gonna dodge it? No. What? 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 Oh, Telemine. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I thought that was gonna be amazing. Oh, you know, if he'd thrown an 18 8 on that, that would have killed both Ranger squads. That would have been amazing. That would have been uh, as, as cool as the artillery strike. Yeah, it's just like nothing you ever see, but you you really want to see stuff like that. It, it is plausible. It's not like it's not totally impossible. Uh, you just need to have no, no, 18 no. aids, which most people don't bother yeah. getting because they kind of suck. This is true. Uh, we're getting some grenades for Sandland instead of 18 aids for the PE player. Uh, so he's going to be packing uh, Thompsons and grenades on his Ranger squads now, and grenades on his rifles as well, obviously, but. Uh, I, I I guess he's mainly getting it for his rangers now. They're gonna be pretty hardcore, like close range. Yeah. Chucking grenades, SMGs flying. Bazookas against the light vehicles with the PE. Yeah, well, bazookas just against anything in PE, really. Just yeah, all, I guess the only PE. thing is like, like what, panthers. I mean, what, what can't they penetrate, really? Be, uh, beyond uh, beyond panthers and people ISDs. 
Everything else. Everything else. More or less. Even the, even the rifles seem to be doing okay now, because now they're not going up against G43s, they're going up against tank busters, which is, you know, even two tank buster squads is only four Kana eight, so... Yeah, they only have two cars per squad. There's on the grenade. Oh. First one yeah, showing a bit of health that. damage, but no bit of health damage. Yeah, and he really needs the striper veteran C, and he's getting some defensive veteran C for that Hotchkiss. Not a bad idea, I guess. Most, if not all, PE uh, vehicles generally get defensive get from their Ooh, players. That's a nice little flank from the Rangers. Uh, These tank busters like get focus fired. Uh, he's, re he's retreated them nice and early. But, oh, two of them go down. Damaged. One squad was extremely damaged, and I think he tried to focus fire in down on retreat. He didn't get him, however. He's gonna go charging these G43s as well. When there's not six squads on the field, there's no problem. Two G43 squads against two Ranger squads. The Rangers can still take this. He's gonna pursue them way into the base. There's gonna be mass retreat from the PE player. Well, by the time they got to the red cover, they knew they couldn't go any further without taking losses, so... They got out of there. Oh, and we have a counter now to the Rangers in the form of MP44. So it's going to be assault weapons versus assault weapons. This is where things get tasty. Oh! Wow, nice hit! Oh, he was basically firing blindly as well, I think. Just yeah, on the that was path of the, the, brutal. On the, on the Rangers. He got some nice hits there. I think three guys. Yeah, that's, a, that's a lot of uh, manpower loss right there. Yeah, three guys, I think. 120 manpower, not to be sniffed at. Trains back, mini train from Sandland, three M10s on the field, just waiting for something to pounce on. Yep, although he's got to obviously be aware now of those Panzer Shreks. It does have now three squads to watch out for. Three Shreks will, they'll they'll take down a train relatively quickly. Um, I think three on... Shreks hits is a, is, a, is a crit, basically. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, three Shrek hits will be, you know, main gun or, or, or engine gun. Engine or something, yeah. Wow, 30 cal actually suppressing something, what's happening? This is a brave 30 count. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna die though. And I just I just saw wow, a piece of rubble flying past on my screen. <laughs> what the what's that? I don't even know what that was. Uh, I wish there was a ranger grenade right there. <laughs> on the teller. Oh, oh no. That this Hodgkiss is like the is this one of the revived Hodgkisses? Like, you know, that they've died once and now well, they just this come is the back. One that survived. Amazingly. Oh okay. The one that got the damage engine from the Rangers in the house and then it magically survived somehow and then it was hiding at the right hand side VP when the M10s rushed the PE base. It's just been surviving all night, uh, the whole game. 13 infantry kills right now. We got the OMCG for Sandland. Another oh M10 joins the fray. God, that's a lot rifles. of units right there. Ooh, his army right now is huge. Surely Mega he must be able huge. to hear it coming. If, if he can't see it coming, he must be able to hear it. But then again, look at that, look at that Telemine. If, if like he gets, if, if that train all <laughs> rolls really over that one Telemine, oh my god. It'll be like, oh, do you remember, Marines versus Alliage on Longra. Yes. yes. It'll be like that game. <laughs> yeah, it will. I, I like how we can recall almost I every was, game that we've ever was cast. It, was, it, was it three M10s or four that got a damage engine from uh, one? It was. It looks so stupid. <laughs> like, it just looks so stupid. The whole train just like ground to a halt. It's like, Bleh. oh my god! Did you see snipe. those shreks? Yeah, super snipe. I think it was a double snipe too. The first shrek. I think it was. Yeah. Super Here comes all of these rifles though. It's four squads all of a sudden, and I believe that the PE player is just gonna have none of that. Oh my Wait, god, dude! Nice! Oh, oh, those rockets were brutal, but look at this, look at this, the M10s are coming in now, they're all blobbed up, and they're gonna hit this teller, and the Jagdpanther has just been called in, the Jagdpanther is oh. on the field now, and look at these M10s, they're so close! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. It doesn't it's get really much better than that. As well, and here comes the Jag now, it's oh going to play God. these M10s all day long, there's just gonna be no way for them to kill it, with two of them basically completely incapacitated with two destroyed engines. He's showing his pure M10s. It's gonna all happen. Pure desperation from Sandman right He's gonna now. try. Well, that teller. Game changing. Seriously. Oh, and there goes that M10. Where are those two damage M10s? Oh, they're still in really bad, really, really bad position. If this. Oh no, this Yakman there. It's had both of those M10 kills stolen. By it didn't Shrek get maybe. either of them. By Shreks or, or by the Hotchkiss. One Hotchkiss and one Shrek. Now look at this, look at this thing. 
We start to get the engine back on the bit one and ten. He's not gonna have none of it. There comes. He the wants Stuka. to get the, the healthy one, but I don't think he's gonna be able to get it. He might just settle for just one. But imagine that. Imagine if the Yags had gotten all of those kills. He didn't even get that one. No, not a single kill. Oh, is... come on, oh, infantry. You keep on stealing kills from, like, the most retarded and powerful unit in your arsenal. Get Vet 3 defensive Yag. It is more survivable than a KT. It gets 2,400 health. It gets, to, <laughs> it, it gets 2,100 at Vet 2 defensive. So that's already healthier than a KT. And with better frontal armor. So... You know, Vet 3 is... I, in fact, I have only seen a Vet 3 Yag once. They're slightly more rare, I'd say, than seeing a Vet 3 Ranger. Um, they're probably the rarest unit you will ever see. You're slightly more rare as well. <laughs> <laughs> People just don't get veterans on Rangers, that's what we're saying. Yeah. It never happens because, kind of like what happened to the Jag Panther in, in, in this game, is that something just ends up rolling in and stealing the kills from the rangers. They just yeah. do all of the health damage with their SMGs, their Thompsons, or the damage with the bazooka, and then something just rolls in, it's just like, yoink! <laughs> just well, steals the kills. To get the kills, really, to get the veterancy on rangers, you really need them to, like, kill a KT. That's really the only way it ever happens. Because the thing is, with Assault Infantry, you can see them coming. Like, you yeah. know they're gonna do damage when they get close, so therefore you just don't get close. <laughs> yeah, you just leave. And their bazookas have horrific accuracy, as you just saw there. Two rockets landed perfectly either <laughs> side <laughs> of the Hotchkiss. <laughs> but not on the Hotchkiss itself. No, 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 that would be too easy. Yeah, way too easy. Looking at the VP, Sandland down to 214. So PE player still in the lead with 291. But he is draining slowly, but he's got enough infantry to cap with. So it's nothing like the last game that we casted on Angleville between... Who was that? ICAS and Barcelona, where basically the Wehrmacht player ended up with no infantry, which, you know, in the end, you know, combined with a lot of bad decisions as well, but either way, you know, lost him the game. If you got nothing to cap with, you're both. Now, I want to see how he uses this Yag, because, I mean, the Yag is no KT. In fact, it's very different from a KT, actually. People. I, like in fact, I'm not. I'm going to stop mentioning KTs now because it's nothing like the Yag. The KT, you you stick it on a VP and you let your oh. opponent smash his head into it. It's a damage punch. Yeah, the Yag does not. The Yag is something. You, it's a hunter, hunter killer. killer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm glad we both went to the same school of uh, COH shoutcasting lingo. Um, <laughs> because that's exactly what it is. You send it to go and and kill shit. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that grenade. <laughs> Oh, only one kill. That was, that was lame. <laughs> that was lame. It, Wait, they, they slightly moved out of it though, so I can kind of understand it. <laughs> Here comes the Yag, just like, what's up guys? <laughs> He's just rolling through all the hedges of the map. He's like, what's happening over here? Okay. So, I'm gonna come here, be very annoying. You got bazookas, but I have the frontal armor of a brick wall. Or, you know, way better than, like, ten brick walls. Oh, easily. And once you start getting the defensive vet, ugh, it's retarded. The thing is, though, is that, like, no. Sandland, he could essentially neuter this Yag by just not building any more tanks. I mean, he could, if from now what on all he did was get OMCG, he would eventually get a wall of AT guns. Yeah. Um, you know. And then uh, the Jack more or less. Really yeah, and then, and then, it, then it suffers. Because, of course, you know, the Yag, it's just no good against the tree. It's like a panther, really. Um, it's got a huge gun. But it's it's no good when it comes to killing infantry. Um, but it's gonna get a snipe now and then. It can actually hit, you know, the the AT gun itself. <laughs> yeah. gun and it does itself. a lot of damage too. <laughs> yeah, it does like, quite a lot of damage. But it's not gonna. Ha you can't just park it in front of an AT gun like a KT, which basically will just blast it into smithereens in two seconds, or you know, three or four shots or something. And the AT gun, either the crew or the gun, gets destroyed by the KT. But the giant, it's just like. Maybe you'll hit it one out of four times, and it's not going to kill it in one shot. And at the same time, the AT gun will have hit you six times. And with AP rounds, it's still going to penetrate your super amazing frontal armor, and all of a sudden, your jag is dead. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, wow. First vet stripe on one of the rifles from Sandland by delivering... Only 37 uh, minutes tape grenade, yeah. 37 <laughs> minutes to get vet one on rifles. Stickies upgraded for Sandland now, so I guess it wasn't. I guess it wasn't. Oh, I know what he's got. Fuel on four. No, yeah, supply yard upgrade, uh, and he actually supply yard upgraded two now as well. Not a bad idea when you when you want to spam the OMCG. 
Yeah, he's just waiting for the manpower right now. Really. He's just waiting for the manpower right now. That's exactly what he's going to be doing. He's gonna go uh, gambling, rolling the dice, hoping for AT guns and no more M10s or M8s or something to feed his Jagdpanzer. Or the Shreks for that matter as well. Oh, full retreat as the SMGs close in. And that is why you will never see a Venture Ranger. Because <laughs> everybody just runs away from them, of course. Although, actually, oh, this could be nasty. This could be nasty. Whoa. Oh, Rare arm hits. Oh, oh but, four of them. Yeah, four, four hit. It's such a huge hitbox. I mean, even even Rangers, even Rangers won't miss a Yag when they're that close. But they're going to roll a miss, but the scatter is pretty large. But the hitbox is even bigger, so you're still going to scatter inside of the hitbox and kill the Yag. Or hit it, at least. Well, funny, really funny little thing about bazookas. They actually, they've got a really high accuracy, but a really, really, uh... Really, scatter, like, it, from I, got, I gotta remember, it's it's RRs, reverse rifles have a really uh, shitty accuracy, but no, a really low no scatter. scatter. Yeah, no but scatter. Bazookas, yeah, no scatter, essentially. Whereas, oh, it's like 15 degrees, so generally they will still hit. Yeah. Um, but bazookas have a really high, ac well, they have a, a decent accuracy, but they have a really high scatter, so when they miss, they miss. <laughs> like, you won't accidentally roll a hit. They will... They're gonna miss, yeah. They're gonna miss. Oh, but he's hitting Whoa. everything right now with yeah, these Rangers. They're good in doing Tom very, very really good. But Bazookas. the main problem for Santa right now is that he rolled the dice in Vegas and he basically lost his whole salary. Because he's got an M10 and an M8 out of the call-in. He got another Ranger squad, but he don't want to have too many Ranger squads because you're going to suffer on upkeep and, you know, obviously reinforcing them is going to be very expensive. Is he trying as well. to get them killed? Uh, I don't know. That like, looked that's... quite a lot like he was trying to get them killed. Was that a they suicide attempt, Sandland? Do we need to have a talk? <laughs> Do we need that's... to go and get your head shrunk? Because that looked you a lot like you were the throwing them to the lions. Awesome, so you get <gasps> him in the woods. God, the bet one rangers oh. just got owned. What just happened? Like that's a it. massive it. wall of uh, offensive bet. Oh my god! Oh, I was just gonna say, I hope it lands a bit to the right. <laughs> that was perfect. Oh, good lord. That was... that was horrible. So that was... how many squads, how many squads? was that? Was that two squads? Two or three, because he's only got three left. I think he had five squads. So yeah, two squads completely annihilated. And he... he also shaved off uh, a man here and there on other squads, I believe. Yeah, that was, that was pretty horrific. Let's oh, see, no, Yag rolling up. I want to see Yag versus like M10 train. I mean, we all we all know the Yag's gonna win, but he'll just be entertaining. Uh, Especially when you throw in Shrex. Oh, yeah, it's easy. Easy money for the people. No, 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 don't run into a 30 cal. Now, he's also unlocked Hetzes now, which is weird because normally it's Hetzes that you see in games with tank destroyers, and you don't really yeah. see Yags. You normally oh. see people get, you know, get a couple of Hetzes because they're just so versatile, you know. They are actually quite decent against them. They will snipe it's infantry, snipe. Um, and they're good against tanks, and they have crazy frontal armor. So, they're just good all around. They're not bad at all, not bad at all. You usually see those. No, I like them. Yeah, I think they look fancy. When I have played with them, which is very rarely and only in OMG mod, but yeah. <laughs> Still, anyway. Still, yeah, why not? Now, I quite like actually what Banana Phone has done here. It's quite smart. He when he got the Yag, he realized that Sandman obviously was going to stop building tanks and just buy an OMCG. So he got himself these two ACs, he rebuilt them both. Um, yep. Which obviously forces Sandman into a really horrible position of having to use his Rangers to kill them, which means he's losing a lot of manpower doing Hail Mary charges against ACs. So close yet so far away that that <coughs> a shot could have spelled the end for one of them, but it didn't. <coughs> See if he gets a sticky off, maybe with one of the rifles. No, no. Yes, I think he no. Would like to, but I think he wants to, but yeah, he just can't get it. Yeah, Jag is so happen. quick as well. It is fast. Yeah. It's very fast for being a, a heavy tank. Yeah, that's, that's another way why you can't use it like a KT because you you gotta use that speed. You this rare just armor. Sit on a... yeah, well, this you know the funny thing armor is those speed to the Rangers though is. It just yeah. looks like they're doing nothing. <laughs> Even okay. though they're all getting rear armor hits and it's like you know, it's good damage, but it's just when it when it's on a sixteen hundred health unit, it's just not enough. <laughs> no, he needs more. A lot <laughs> more bazookas. More, more bazookas. Well, Sandland's just gonna wait it out once again with his supply yard upgrade to to get another OMCG and hopefully maybe get some AT guns this time or just a double M10 call in, which will total him uh, a total of four. Which might be enough to tackle uh, this, <coughs> this 
Hotchkiss and the Jack Panther, but at the same time, as long as those Shreks are still alive, he's still got two squads on the field. It's not going to be enough with M10s ever, I think. As long as the you know the Jack Panther is obviously properly micro. Yeah, it's, it's going to come down to constants. Yeah. <clears throat> now, but, I don't know what the PE player is doing, but he's floating almost 1,500 manpower, and he has popcap. So I don't know. He could he could call on like two headsets, one after the other. He could build like five P grants. Well, he's building something now from his. He's building three. another assault gren. Okay. Okay. Well, although well, that's he, a weird choice that, if, because he's floating 590 munitions in tankbuster doctrine, where you don't really have anything to spend your munitions on. So why don't you build a P gren and upgrade them, which is cheaper? Yeah, that is cheaper. Well, obviously you have to pay munitions instead of Yeah, but he has 600 top. munitions, so munitions But if he's floating really both of them, yeah. Yeah, if you have the choice, always get a P-Grant and upgrade them. I mean, yeah, it's it's a little slower, but you save on the manpower quite significantly. And he doesn't really have anything else to spend his, spend his munitions on. He doesn't have butterfly bombs or stuff no. like that from the Luftwaffe Dutch, he, so... All he yeah. can do is spam telemines, and... and that is obviously only going to be so useful when he's already got a yagged as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like overkill much. Uh, yeah, like one, like he'll have like an, a little mini M10 train of like two M10s. One of them gets insta killed by the telemine, and then the other one gets nuked by the zooks. And it's like, well, so I have this big old tank here. Are really <laughs> doing anything with it? He's now on like Panther Battle Group as well, which would just be like, <laughs> I, I don't know what the next step up from overkill is, like over annihilation. But that would Over be annihilation. <laughs> yeah, let's 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 roll with that one. I think that's a pretty good Shrek's one. We got 800 man power soon. Panthers. Let's see what he rolls today. Another. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, oh so bad. No. Double M8s. Double M8s. You M8 can't really have asked for anything more useless, really, can you? <laughs> in this in <laughs> this scenario, he chases off the tank busters. He's got the rangers and the rifles pushing in. Oh no, back. no, yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. what Everything are you doing? Running. Why are you turning around? I don't know, but this M8 is bone because there's a teller mine right oh. there, destroyed it, and almost kills it, but not completely. Where are those Shreks? Or in fact, he could call in anything. Maybe he's waiting for a Panther battle group. Now he needs those Panthers. Suddenly, getting two Panthers on top of the Shreks and the Yag doesn't seem like overkill. Does he actually need them? Do you think so? He, he's just gonna get his the base and turn around, and he should be fine. There's still but only he's not two turning around. Oh no, oh no, they're all getting squished around next to that off map as well. That off map could be really nasty, and it is really nasty. Oh, oh that was brutal. Very, very brutal. This is not looking particularly great for this Yag now. I mean, he's probably gonna live, but it's gonna take a while to get him back into a good state of health again. I think he just did. Oh no, oh no, oh no, the vet 3 is gonna live, just about. It's very, oh very no, oh close. Oh no, M8 mine. M8 mine laid on top of the Yagd. Oh. oh, I think it's... Oh, 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 he got it, destroyed engine, but it's still alive, and all of the vehicles from Sandland are dead, apart from one M10, which is one getting M10. repaired. If he sends that in... One that is neutered no, it won't, it won't get there fast it. enough. I don't think it will get there fast enough. Is he also, also look at the way it's positioned. He can, he can either come from the rear and get nuked by Shreks, or he can come from the front and not penetrate it. So, yeah, you know, it's it's picky poison time. Ooh, long range flag burning. What's he gonna do with his ranger squad anyway? He's gonna go scouting and see what's what. What's what? Let's see what's what. What's what? And what's what is lots of Shreks and too much to handle, so he really wants to get out of there. But that engagement could have been handled a lot better. By a all PA sides, player. really. <laughs> well, yeah, all, all sides. Uh, but really, the PE player should have come out on that on top easily. I mean, you have a Yag, you have the king of AT. Whoa. There is really no excuse for, for M10s to be doing that to you. That was some seriously real long range snipe tricks on that M8. Yeah, but look at it now. They're two squads now packing four Shreks. They got they unlocked the, the double Shreks. Wow. So. Oh, yeah, of course. And, uh, Thank but now, you know what he really needs? He needs four man squads. That's what he needs now. And he has four man squads. You must have just got that recently. Oh yeah, I see that. Because uh, when you got when you got those double shrakes, you need it for the extra survivability. And when you got MP44s, obviously four man squads is great because it gives you another MP44. It's not just another car 98 like it is with a G43 squad. You get a whole other MP44. It's great. It's like you've been given free munitions. Yeah, more or less, or one additional gun at least. Well, yeah, and who doesn't like having another MP44? <laughs> <laughs> who doesn't like four MP44s? Instead of three. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I, I'd rather have four. We got a new sniper oh, built from Sandland. He's gonna Double build Panthers. a second one too. 
Oh, Panthers now too. Teleporters. Now there's basically yeah. nothing to shoot at though. Yeah, now now, <laughs> now this is just this is a little silly now. Of course, it, you know Sod's law would have it that now all Sandman calls in is just AT guns. <laughs> just when he gets his double panthers and the and the yag, and he goes out and he's like, yeah, I'm ready for him this time. I'm ready for those M10s. And it's just AT gun, AT gun, AT gun. <laughs> it's going to be double snipers first from Sandland. Well, he, he didn't going? fancy another off-map combat group, so he's just going to go snipers and win the infantry war and then cap the PE player off the map because he's clearly not going to be killing a yag and two panthers. He really doesn't like this M10. Uh, he doesn't really oh my like god, him. what happened to that panther? Bazookas happened. That's what happened. Serious bazookas happened. I mean, whoa. They do a load of damage, dude. That, that was not just very bazookas. High. That this was... This is good by Panthers. and Panthers are kind of similar in that way. You know, their their HP pool isn't massive, but their armor is really good. But if you actually get a penetrating hit with the bazooka, which delivers quite a lot of damage in itself... Ooh. Oh, no, they're going to get, like, bit two off that. Ooh. Maybe. Yeah, here we go. Out no, of control. Actually, no, they'll, they'll get bet one, but they'll be close bet to bet two. Goddamn rangers spent so slowly. Oh, vet two. vet 2! Oh, Vet 2 instantly! Oh, nice! Oh, oh no! Oh, no! Oh, no! If this... Longest out of control ever. Oh, the wow. M10 is out of control, and that was damaged the Panther for so long, which meant that the rangers could go up and finish him off. Uh, that, that ranger now has killed two Panthers, so they must be very close to Vet 3. Yeah, seriously. Close if you consider that one of them plus four infantry kills is enough to get them to Vet 2 instantly from Vet 0, they must be like just a few infantry kills or like a Hotchkiss kill or an AC kill away from Vet 3. And we he may see to... the elusive Vet 3 Ranger. Uh, if he kills this AC, he might be able to get it because I don't think he needs much more than that. A few oh, infantry kills. Maybe a light people, no, the other squad got it. Squad. Damn. Yeah, wrong <laughs> squad. Wrong squad. There's not that much infantry to shoot at, and there's not that many light vehicles either. There's just that one remaining Hotchkiss out from Banana Phone. So, uh, yeah, he needs to get at that if he wants to get the uh, Vet 3 Ranger squad. Yeah, we got Vet 1 on the Jack the Panther as well, so he only needs to kill like 600 M10s more and got a Vet 3. <laughs> <laughs> Which oh, is not boy. going to happen because Sanla is not going to be replacing his M10, uh, you know, apart from getting him from OMCG, of course. Now he just needs to kill some of these Vet 3 offensive G43s and he'll be good. Yeah, that, that might be problematic. Oh, oh he's, he's got to go. Wow, those snipers really getting run down. Nice job, wow, look at these nice SMG what? focus fire. Wow, and we have Vet 3 Rangers. We have Vet 3 Rangers and there's a Shrek drop. No, Sandland, what are you doing? You could get a Shrek on a Vet 3 Ranger. Can he actually get that? Is it the uh, weapon? I don't, yeah, I don't know actually. He, I think he's gonna. Is he gonna get it on the other one, or is he just gonna guard it for the Vet 3 score? <laughs> <laughs> this is mine now. I have taken it. Uh, we did actually have one of the snipers die. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 the Vet 3, the Vet 3, the oh, Hotkiss, oh, and the Vet 3. What <laughs> oh my up. god, he actually Fire hit him. Building. He hit him as well. Hit him. He's made of stone, that Ranger. Oh guy. god. Made Lucky for that switch kiss, he didn't get a bazooka guy on the second re the, the remanning, the reinforcing guy, because he could have been bazooka to death. Vet 3 damage bonus and everything, and you know, on a hutch kiss. Okay, he's got vet 2 defensive. Vet 3 defensive. Oh wow. Maybe he wouldn't be being killed by one, one hit, but would have been <laughs> close. You know, it's really sad the Shrek got picked up by like a zero kill rifle. So <laughs> they're gonna have their work cut out for them. But then I again, actually rifles are actually very good anyway, regardless of vet with Shreks. So. The thing is, I think the weapon slots are all taken with two bazookas and uh, yes, the Yes, yes, no, you, you're right. They are all taken, so oh. he couldn't have grabbed them anyway. Oh, but that's the problem. He could have gotten them oh. with a Vet 1 squad, at least. Luckily for Sanlan, he polished off both of the Panthers in some suicidal rush from the PE player, killing one M10 that took forever to get out of control and then actually killing the Panther with his Rangers getting Vet 3 eventually. Uh, we got two more M10s from his so MCG. He doesn't get a single AT gun for the entire game. Here come the M10s now, and whoa, oh, 18 aids. Oh wow, it is 18 aids. He, he pulled it out of his pocket and died yeah, pulling the pin. <laughs> or he didn't even pull the pin, it just ran him over and it crushed the grenade which made it explode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, oh this God. Jack Panther now might be looking for a kill on this very damaged 18 aided Nope. Oh, nice sticky. The first sticky he's gotten off on that Yag yeah, yet. Yeah. It could, could have held Banana Phone to keep it at a sticky range all this time though, because it's been on the field for quite a while now without being sticky. That's long, the first one he's time. taken. Very long now, time. Now where's I that Vet 3 Ranger? You gotta keep tabs on that guy. 
The V3 Ranger is hanging out in the base, reinforcing yeah, a bit. The base. Up. Oh Yosh. god, those guys, those guys. You guys are Vet 3. You do. You still got two bazookas on it too. Extra damage. Yep, two bazookas. Damage is it? It's 150 percent on the damage. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah. It's a bit retarded. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit retarded. It's uh, it's it's absolutely crazy. I mean. <laughs> Uh, add to that, of course, you know, Vet 2, which he just got recently as well. He was Vet 1, you know, just a couple of minutes ago. You get Vet 2, which gives you big accuracy bonuses. Um, yeah. So, you know, the the accuracy is, in effect, a form of damage buff anyway. So, in essence, Vet 3 Rangers are not to be fucked with. <laughs> Don't by by anything, really. I mean, obviously, their penetration doesn't get buffed. So the Bazookas still suck against one armor of almost anything, but... As you can see there. Yeah. <laughs> Double bounce on the front lock. Well, that's to be expected though. Yeah. Yeah, and the bazooka's go. gonna bounce on the Jag and the KT, stuff like that on the front lock. It's just gonna bounce all the time. These 30 cals are actually like doing stuff. <laughs> they're like suppressed P grunts. What's that? They are. They're, they're I've like, seen a P grun ride users. run up to, an, to a 30 cal and just like mow it down with MP44s. I guess defensive weapon. Oh, it's a, it's a real charge of US infantry. Actually, you know what the P player can really do with? He can really do with an IST. Yeah, an just IST has a bit of infantry. ranger control. Yeah, you know, and especially when they're grouped up two by two, the, the rangers... Yeah, you, exactly. You get a he's, one he's, nice hit and the splash just like annihilates yeah. both quads. It's kind of like a stew or something. Not as not as hardcore, not as killy like that, but... Uh, it, you know, the splash is still pretty big, and when you have two squads clumped up close to each other, it's going to just melt them. Yeah, oh. I mean, in P4 ISD, it is the ranger killer. It is the single best yeah. unit in the game for killing rangers, because they skirts. just won't penetrate the skirts. Yeah, just, just get skirts. Yeah, against uh, handheld AT. That sniper is brave. And brave. again, and yeah. what, what, what's there to kill him, really? <laughs> yeah, the Panther's not going to snipe from the first shot. Maybe the, maybe the tenth. Although he so, can still see the unit sniped icon, he could just go and run that, run that little sucker run him over. over. Like, it's gone now, but he could, he could. So we got another Hotchkiss has been built to replace the the lost ones. Uh, getting rockets again. Uh, the Pgram blob has been separated from their grandfather, the the Yag Panther, which is a bit of a weird tactical choice to separate them too, because now he's just got this big infantry blob over here on the left hand side, which could just be sniped to death. Yeah, I guess he's gonna, he's gonna go for the VP and stop the drain somewhat. He is triple capped right now, down to 70 VPs compared to Sandlands, 123. So he's finally in the lead now, Sandlands. I want to see these Vet3 Rangers just going solo, like all of this PE infantry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, against MP44s and stuff? It's oh, a yeah, bit they're, they're on Vetted. They're, they will mint MP44s. That's true, yeah, I guess. Like, I, I, I've had a Vet3 Ranger once. I may have had one more than once but I only remember one time because it was in a 2v2 game and they were they were basically on like 5% health but it was four of them which meant they had two Thompsons uh, but they were just sitting in green cover and they just didn't die like P Grants just ran at them and just didn't, didn't die they're <laughs> firing with those Thompsons because there was like a negative cover road right in front of them so every time oh. the units ran across they just get totally minced I mean the accuracy and damage buffs like when you when you calculate it all it's just a mind-boggling amount of damage well you know the Thompsons are fairly inaccurate in themselves, and then you get, you know, you know, accuracy buffs and damage buffs on top of that. Yeah, obviously they're they're going to kill everything that just moves in the vicinity of them. They just gotta get a little bit close, and then it's all over. Yeah. I think this is this could be a quite a decisive moment here. I think Sandland is preparing to just swing everything to the left hand side in a big motion. He's defending his uh, his two VPs on the right hand side. He is down to 123, so he doesn't want to lose them. If he ends up losing this ma massive engagement on the left hand side, that might happen. But this Jag is just going right into the US base now. Loads of mines going in uh, on the right hand side, VP and uh, the middle road as well. I don't blame him to be honest. There's a lot of veterans here from both sides. I mean, we've given a lot of, you know. Uh, it's going to be a base annihilation rush. Oh, this he is going for a base. 35 run. VPs? Can he do? Can he? Can he do it? I don't um, know. I don't think so. I I don't think. I don't know. If he got rockets on both those, maybe. Double strikes. But Double strikes. Actually, that's true. Double strikes will. Double will, strikes. Will, strikes do a lot of damage. Whoa! Pigman's just went down on retreat. I think that might have been a. 
Event 3, G43 actually went down. Oh, an 88 as well. Wow, look at the damage. This is look very at interesting. The damage. Oh my god, he's gonna lose <laughs> his HQ in a minute. Uh, the barracks will take a little while because it's being done by the vehicles, but the Trex and the 18-8s then. You know what he needs to focus on? Focus on that damn supply yard. Kill his I don't know if Sandland realizes or if he's just waiting right now. He's like, uh, hold on a second, I'm gonna build an MG nest here on the far right hand side. You see, he's just putting up loads of uh, them right Oh, yeah, now. I see that. I see that. Because <laughs> he's gonna lose his base even if he retreats everything back, I think. It's gonna go down. His HQ is basically toast. And that means no more of map combat group, for example. More OMCG, yep, so there, there goes. that goes. I guess there's that. There so his resource income presumably is killed. It's zero, yeah, zero. Zero resource income. This is interesting, I don't, I don't know, so... If he kills his tank depot, I guess there are still MG nests, so it won't yes, be an instant are. annihilation. There's, there's three of them soon. Well, just, this is a very strange way for a game to finish, I must say. <laughs> I don't know what he's going to do now. Because he's, he's got eight VPs left, and I don't think... Oh, I'm silly. Yes, you are silly. You just built a bunker. <laughs> GG. Good attempt, though, I gotta say. Oh, it was a good idea. I don't think good I would have idea. had that idea, actually. That's... It, it's pretty pretty clever. He would not get on to the right hand side with all of these mines out. They died to uh, the, the G43 squad died on retreat to the double mines planted on the middle road, I believe. I saw them detonate. Yeah, so. they did. They did. Uh, and, you know, well, with I, all I would have loved to have seen that that base annihilation work. That would have made my day. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was pretty funny. I gotta say, I gotta hand it to Banana Phone. Very good attempt trying to win. You know, yeah, it was the right idea. Just just a little bit late. Maybe he'd done it a couple of minutes earlier. It would have been. A you know, okay. against then, uh, you know, an, um, uh, what's it called? Inferior opponent, for example, that doesn't really realize that you can build an MG nest to st still stay in the game. Uh, you know, they they panic probably and oh, basically yeah. like treat everything, no, treat everything, and just like uh, one uh, rocket. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. And uh, yeah, it it could totally work. You know, base annihilations are still a possibility to win games. I think a lot of people don't really realize that mm. you don't really think about it because no one barely at least goes for a base annihilation unless you basically already won the game yeah but as you can see here if your opponent is camping outfield then well you just go where he is kill his stuff into his base <laughs> yeah. well That's that was good. actually that was actually a pretty fun game i thought that was that was quite entertaining for a for a pe game um yeah. Uh, well, I hope you guys as well at home found it entertaining. Leave us a comment um, and do uh, do uh, subscribe if you're not already. And we will see you next time. See you guys.